morning and welcome back to your channel. Now today we are going to look at tallow soap. Now 100% tallow produces extremely hard bar of soap. It's a lovely white bar of soap and um, it's actually in, uh, increasing the longevity in soap making. If you use some of it in there, um, it produces a lovely shaving foam like of leather in it. So it's actually a very nice ingredient to use in soap. You can use 100% tallow as well. It's one of those fats or oils that you can um, do 100% single oil soap with. I prefer to add a little bit of coconut oil to it because the lathering is very slow on this, but it does lather and it's got a beautiful lather to it. The coconut oil just gives it a little bit of a kick, um, so it starts to lather a little bit faster and easier, but I absolutely love to use this in soap. The part that I do not like is to render it myself if I can't get it already rendered. Now for rendering just click on the link above. Um, I've done a tutorial last week on how to render your tallow. It's also not a difficult process. There's nothing complicated about it at all. Um, it just takes a lot of time and yeah, there's always something that we do dislike about everything in life. Now rendering tallow is one of the parts of soap making that I'm not crazy about but if you want lovely tallow and you can't get it bought already rendered, then it's something you need to do. So uh, the soap that I'm going to show you today, the recipe will be in the description box as well as always. It's very easy, like the channel will see, easy peasy lemon squeezy, no fuss. Let me show you how to do this. Okay, today's soap is a very simple recipe. We're just going to use tallow and I added a little bit of coconut oil to my, my oil mixture. The reason for that is that coconut oil just boosts the bubbly a little bit. Tallow by itself doesn't really foam very easily. It does foam, it does clean excellently, but the coconut oil just boosts the bubbly a little bit and get it to foam easier. Then I'm going to add a little bit of fragrance oil to it. I've got a peppermint. I grabbed the wrong bottle here. Okay, I've got my little bit of peppermint oil here, or mint. Um, this is sorry, this is a fragrance oil, it's not an essential oil, this is for laundry, so I'm not really too fussed about that. So, what I've got here, I have 57 degrees Celsius, this one is 48 degrees Celsius. Now, the important thing is um, with tallow soap, you need to work 40 degrees or warmer, but less than 60 degrees Celsius. The reason for 40 degrees Celsius it is high in stearic acid, so if you soap lower, you can end up with stearic acid spots and that's actually, it's just cosmetical but it's not a big issue. Now for today, I can't find my other gloves here. I've got these horrible little plastic thingies. I do not like them simply because they're single use, they go to a landfill, they do not biodegrade. I prefer to reuse my other gloves but for the life of me, I don't know where they are. So, um, if I usually use um, disposable gloves, I try to go for uh, light, latex gloves. They do de um, biodegrade after a few years. They actually do take quite a while. But at least they are biodegradable and protect our eyes. And let's see. We're just going to add... our lye water here to our oil. And I'm going to stir it just in. So this is just going to be a plain, straight white laundry soap. I've got a vegan version of this on the channel. If you do not like to use tallow in your soap, you are most welcome to try that one out. I've got all the, the ingredients. I actually have the recipe there as well. Um, all of my soaps here on the channel just always check in the description box i do include my recipes in there okay there we go and let's stick blend it a little bit Now 
now this is already at the medium price here it's actually still a thin dress not the medium dress and um, the other reason why you want to work at 40 degrees or higher if you work at a lower temperature with tallow it's really easy to get a false trace and then you think your soap is a trace and actually the fat just started to solidify now normally um, the way that you can visually discern between a false trace and a, a true trace if you take your soap batter on your spoon this is nice and shiny and it starts to thicken up a false trace usually looks grainy and much more dull in appearance so this I know is a true trace here it's definitely not a false trace tallow is actually a very nice fat to use in your soap that hardens your soap quite a lot the stearic acid in the soap is about 40% 44% stearic acid in tallow gives you this nice stable shaving foam like lather that you can get from your soap and it actually works very nicely if you are wanting to do some swirls and stuff in your soap there's another tiny little bit of activated charcoal soap yep it's definitely I've got some activated charcoal soap here there behind my blade hiding there I must say the stick blender doesn't clean easily the blade is very close to the body of the blender okay I'm just gonna add my fragrance oil here it's only a tiny little bit I think it's nearly half a percent the peppermint is quite strong and I don't really want peppermint soap I just want it slightly slightly scented so I don't add a lot to my tallow as you see we've got lots of time to actually work with it it's still at the thin tray so this is very very nice fat to work with all of those delicate and intrigue designs that you would like to do with different colors and so on if you are soaping at closer to 60 degrees Celsius it actually does trace faster with the higher temperatures so I would say 45 degrees Celsius is a very nice temperature to work with a high content tallow high tallow content soap that's probably a better way to say it it's holding a little bit of better shape it's a medium trace so it's ready to be poured here now just one word of caution or something important about a high tallow soap and even 100% coconut oil soap so this one is now tallow and coconut oil mixed together if you pour it in a, a log mold there my English just eluded me completely so if you are pouring it like in a mold like this and you need to cut it you will have to keep an eye on it because you will have to cut it within four to five hours while it is still warm to hot if you leave this soap to cool down completely you will not be able to cut it at all you're going to use a saw and you might saw through it but you're not going to cut it so if you don't have the time or if your timeline is as such that you're not going to be able to time it and cut it within four hours rather use individual molds so that you can unmold it that way but you're definitely not going to be able to cut it if it's cooled in this mold so there we go it's a nice thick trace maybe a little bit too thick but that is in the eye of the beholder or something like that Got a little bit scrape scrape so yeah there's not much I can tell you about tallow soap it's very straightforward except for work 
I will 40 degrees Celsius, less than 60 degree, so in between there. And if you want to cut it from a log like this one, within four hours, you need to cut it. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit of a lost case. Or you're going to just work with one big blob of soap. That can maybe work as well. Okay. You will also see it's going to go through gel phase very easily, very quickly. Um, it might even heat up a little bit. I'm not even going to um, insulate this because if I insulate it, it might just rise a little bit in, in the middle. Um, if I work closer to 40 degrees Celsius with both my oil and lye, I might have insulated it. But my lye solution was still a little bit warm. It was around about 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm just going to leave it open. Um, I can maybe put a little piece of cardboard on it, but I'm not going to wrap it in a towel or anything. So I will see you in four hours time for the cut, which should result in lovely, beautiful snow white soap. Hi there and welcome back to Load Shedding South Africa. I did not time my, or I didn't do my proper timing when I made the soap. So we ended up in a load shedding um, time slot and I can't really wait with my cut any longer otherwise the soap is going to be too hot so but don't fear we do have torches we have extra lights and we do have humor so let me show you what our soap turned out to be now for those of you guys that's not familiar with South Africa and our load sheddings um, that is because our uh, electricity generating department ESCOM cannot generate enough electricity for the whole country now from time to time like in the winter when the electricity usage is a little bit more then we have to take turns to get electricity so the whole country is on different time grids and um, depending on what stage we are on we get stage one then we are getting load shed once a day and stage two then you get up to stage eight luckily so far we haven't been on stage eight before um, i think we are on stage two now now you have to keep an eye on this whole thing and time all your stuff around it and i am not very good at all of these things to keep time and keep it in check and know when to go where so yeah today I didn't even think about load shedding when I started out of my tallow soap. The problem with tallow soap is if I wait another two hours, it's most probably going to be cooled down too much and I won't be able to cut it. So we are going to do it without electricity in the dock. Luckily I've got a phone that I can record with and there we go. go. Go, 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 go. It is nice and warm still. I think. And let's see our first slice. Just for interest, 56 degrees Celsius. So it's still quite warm. But we've got lovely, beautiful white tallow soap, which is going to be an awesome laundry soap. There we go. And the next one. I'll give it back. And the next one. And the last one. There we go. So we do have lovely white tallow soap. This one is actually still sort of burning my fingers on the inside. So there you can see it's nearly 60 degrees Celsius. Oh, there we go to 60. 
so the soap is really still warm it's very firm I can press it press down on it um, so just keep that in mind for 100% coconut oil soap as well you will need to cut it while it's still warm otherwise you won't be able to cut it okay so happy soaping until I see you guys next time